A recent and alarming spike in cases of streptococcal toxic shock syndrome, or STSS in Japan, has drawn significant attention to this rare but severe bacterial infection. As of mid-2024, Japan has recorded a staggering 1,019 STSS cases, surpassing the total number of cases from the previous year within just six months. In March 2024, Japan's National Institute of Infectious Diseases reported a concerning increase in STSS cases, with 77 deaths linked to the illness, primarily affecting individuals over 50. In comparison, the United States reported 145 STSS cases in 2021, according to the latest data from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. STSS is a critical condition caused by the invasive spread of Group A streptococcus or gas bacteria into the bloodstream and deep tissues. Commonly found in the throat and on the skin, gas bacteria usually cause mild infections such as strep throat. However, when they invade areas typically free of bacteria, such as the blood or muscle tissue, they can lead to severe diseases including STSS. Group A. Streptococcus infections typically present as sore throats or skin infections. According to Celine Gounder, editor-at-large for public health at KFF Health News and an infectious disease specialist at NYU and Bellevue Hospital, more severe manifestations like blood infections or necrotizing fasciitis, a flesh-eating infection are relatively rare but serious. Several factors increase the risk of developing STSS including open wounds or sores, diabetes, heavy alcohol consumption, recent surgery, varicella virus infections such as chickenpox or shingles, and age over 65. STSS is also highly associated with necrotizing fasciitis, according to Andrew Steer, Director of Infection, Immunity, and Global Health at Murdoch Children's Research Institute in Melbourne, Australia. Necrotizing fasciitis can rapidly destroy muscles, skin, and other tissues. Symptoms and treatment of STSS. Early symptoms of STSS include fever, chills, muscle aches, nausea, and vomiting. As the infection progresses, symptoms can quickly worsen, leading to a rapid drop in blood pressure, organ failure, and increased heart and breathing rates. A sunburn-like rash may also be an early indicator. Treatment typically involves antibiotics, intravenous fluids, medical interventions for organ failure, and surgical removal of infected tissue. There is currently no vaccine for Group A strep infections, although research is underway to develop one, with hopes for availability within the next 5 to 10 years. Exploring the causes behind Japan's outbreak. The exact reasons for the surge in STSS cases in Japan remain unclear. However, Japan's health ministry suggests that the relaxation of COVID-19 measures might have contributed to an increased spread of various infections, including streptococcal pharyngitis. Dr. Ken Kikuchi of Tokyo Women's Medical University noted that the concept of immunity debt could explain the rise in cases. This term refers to the weakened immune responses due to reduced exposure to a variety of pathogens during the COVID-19 pandemic, making people more susceptible to infections now. Globally, there has been an increase in Group A strep infections post-pandemic, possibly due to decreased immunity from prolonged social distancing and other preventive measures against COVID-19. Should you be concerned? While STSS remains rare globally, awareness is essential due to the recent increase in cases. As Andrew Steer noted, STSS has been present in the US and worldwide for centuries. Despite the current surge in Japan, experts maintain that infections like influenza and COVID-19 are more prevalent and pose a higher risk. Precautionary measures, practice good hygiene, Hand washing and wound care are crucial. Seek prompt medical attention. If symptoms of STSS develop, early treatment is vital. Japan's health ministry assures that the country remains safe for travel and that standard preventive practices can mitigate infection risks. The rise in STSS cases in Japan highlights the importance of vigilance and early recognition of symptoms. While the outbreak has prompted concern, it underscores the broader trend of increased infections post-pandemic due to changes in immune system responses. Awareness and proactive healthcare can help manage and reduce the impact of such infections. DSTSS, a severe rare bacterial infection caused by invasive group A streptococcus. Symptoms, 
Early signs include fever, chills, and muscle aches. Rapid progression can lead to serious complications. Prevention and treatment. Emphasize hygiene and seek prompt medical care. Current treatment includes antibiotics and supportive measures. Outbreak context. Japan's recent surge may be linked to post-pandemic changes in immune response and the relaxation of COVID-19 precautions. What are your thoughts on this potential epidemic? Share your opinions and let's dive into a discussion in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest uploads.